Okay, let's just get right down to business. Today we are going to be uh, reassembling, uh, rebuilding the rear brake caliper. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a 400EX build. In case you're wondering, this is a 450R rear brake. And uh, once again, we are putting 450R brakes all around on this 400EX build. So let's get on down to it. All right. Got the brake uh, rebuild kit right here. Got our brake. Let's just build this thing. Got our brake uh, rebuild kit. First thing we're going to do is put the uh, seals in, the piston seals here. So we're going to take a little bit of brake fluid, which I have over here uh, already in a, in a little uh, container. We're going to just lube these up. What I like to do is just dip the whole thing right on in there. Now we're just going to put that right inside here. kind of line it up in the back first and then kind of push that in there so you get that lined up and then shove the top in and there you go now let's do the top seal dip that in the brake fluid over here Same thing, just get that started. Uh... Now let's put in the O-ring. So let's get a little bit of brake fluid onto the O-ring. This little thing uh, goes in the back. This right here is uh, for the parking brake. So this little pin or uh, guy goes right back in here. That's gonna be hard to do. So what we can do is get uh, a little pair of needle nose to maybe get it started in there. I wonder if anybody's ever successfully got one of these in here. This is... Uh, So that took a lot longer than anticipated. Uh, what I ended up having to do was put my finger over the back so that it can't come out, push that thing all the way in there, like sideways, shove it in there sideways, and then put my finger over the front and then come in from the back, push it up so that it started in the groove, then put my finger back over the back and then seat it up and push it into the groove with the pen. So that took a lot longer than I had anticipated doing. <laughs> anyway, that little O-ring is in the back. That is for the parking brake. All right, so next, we're going to put in the uh, slide pin here in the old. So what it does is uh, this bolt, this bolt comes through the back and threads on to the pin here. And what we're going to do here is we're gonna slide that on there, but first we're going to blue Loctite. Now 
And then we'll slide the pin on there. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our new boots. One of these has a bigger hole than the other one. So it will go on the bigger slide pin. What? Yeah, 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 that's the way it's gonna work. So this boot will go over here and this boot will go over here. But in order to do that, we're going to put it on to the uh, caliper stay first. So this one has a bigger hole, this one has a smaller hole, so it's gonna go on like this. So we will take a little bit of uh, dielectric grease Grease up uh, the boots here. This will keep them from uh, deteriorating and getting hard and, and uh, crusty as well. So it'll, it'll preserve them. And it will help uh, insert them as well. So this boot goes here. So that will go right on in here into this side right here so the lip goes underneath and just slides right on in there like so and we will do the same with the other boot which I have lost oh ha 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 it's on the caliper Dielectric grease. Just goes right on in here. Let's put our piston in, which we should have done. Uh, put a little bit of a brake fluid on this thing. Put a little bit of brake fluid on here. This is going to slide through uh, where we just put the O-ring. Just like so. Make sure you shove that all the way back too because we need room for, to put the brake pads on. Now let's uh, use a little bit of the old uh, Maxima waterproof grease here. Grease the pins up and uh, the boots. I like to just take a Q-tip, dip it right on in there. And fill up the inside of the boot. Now that we have it everywhere, let's um, grease up the pins as well. Q-tip is not working out very good. Let's throw the Q-tip in the garbage can and use fingers. So, so now we can slide uh, the caliper stay on, but before we do that, we uh, want to put our uh, brackets on here. Our... So this one just goes right on here. And the other side, this one just fits right on here like so. We want to put the brake pads in. Okay, so we do it like that, I guess. And then, 
we take this pin and before we drop it down we should have put the pin in now we can drop this sucker down and now we can put this in here Okay, there we have that. Now let's put on the, uh, the bleeder screw. What I like to do is put a little bit of dielectric grease uh, just, around, just around the bottom down here. The top of it we're gonna be touching sometimes so we don't want it to be too uh, crusty and gross. Yep, just put that right on here. Then you want to bit a little bit of blue Loctite right on there. Then just snug that down with a with a ten. Cap her off. And then we have uh, the banjo bolt. We've got a brand new banjo bolt with our brand new crush washers, which we'll be putting the brake lines on uh, in a different video. Let's go ahead and just put that right on in here for now. Cover the hole so we don't get any stuff in there until we're ready. And there we have it, there's that. Let's also put our, uh, if you had a brake, uh, if you had a parking brake, this would be the chance when you put your parking brake on, but we don't have one, so let's put our parking brake stopper on there. This one has a O-ring already in here, but let's put a little tiny bit of uh, the old dielectric grease on there, just a tiny bit of that. You can see the parking brake sticks out a bit before we snug it down. We're just gonna hand, we're just gonna get this down a little bit uh, by hand and not tighten it all the way because we want the piston to stay in so we can uh, put our brakes on. So we'll go ahead and uh, tighten this all the way down. Once we get the the brake assembled on the on the quad, uh, but that's it for right now. So there we have it. There is our uh, our brake assembled. Looks really good with those brake pads that are red, also, and the red uh, parking brake stopper.